Okay, today's little project is clean up, uh, repairing some of this old Dicor uh, self-leveling sealant. This is on a 2012 Class A, a friend of ours down here at Fort Wilderness. And you can see already just since 2012, look how the, the screws are already exposed. So that'll be leaking before, before you know it. And so there's a screw head right there, so I'll we'll peel all the stuff off and, and, uh, and redo it keep her from having any, any roof leaks but um, even right here from the factory you can see like they didn't even put it put it on they completely lifted off this screw head so even the factory job was not too impressive but we'll get it looking better and get, get it cleaned up some of them look pretty uh, yeah they see you can see the cracking like, like that already it's not good so I got me some alcohol and stiff brush. We'll do some cleaning and and see what we can get this looking. Yeah, I told you wrong. This is actually a fifth wheel, not a class A. I think I said class A earlier. But let's look how I can't believe it's not already been leaking. But look at that gap right there. So we're gonna get all that fixed up better. I took some alcohol and a brush and brushed it off some to expose this screw head. Get it good and clean and. Put us a, a, a reseal on it. Keep her from leaking. Okay, here we are at the skylight, and you, as we was cleaning and scrubbing, most every one of these just peeled right off, exposed all the screw heads. So we'll get that sealed up. I don't know if it's the Florida sun that made these things come off so easy, or if it's just the fact that uh, I don't know. Maybe it wasn't done done very well. It's not that old. You wouldn't think it'd be in this bad of shape for just a 2012, but. It may be the heat factor. Good example of what I was talking about. See, they look fine to look at them, but look, you just peel right back. The he heads are ex exposed. So that'll soon be a leak. So we'll peel, peel these off and, and completely reseal them. Get them in better shape. So. Here's how I've been doing this. Take a little alcohol, sprinkle it on here. Because it dries good. Brush. Brush it well. And take a rag, wipe it down. See how nice and white, clean, that alcohol will dry good and will, will dry good. So we'd have a good surface to stick to again. Even, even around the, the sewer vent here, the same way, they just peeled right off, exposed all the screw heads. So we'll get all that, all that tidied up, make it look a lot better. Okay, here we go. Doing it left-handed, just to show you. Fill up these, top off these screw heads. And that should keep the water out. Get her in good shape. Let that dry and it'll settle. Be good for another three or four years, hopefully, in this Florida sun. Smile, smile woman. Well, there's my sweetie. She's been my helper today. Help me do some cleaning and getting all this thing finished. But she's camera shy. Don't know why. But anyway, something else I was going to talk about. I used something different this time. It's called, well, I went, went to um, uh, Camping World to get some Dicor self-leveling sealant. But they didn't have it. They've now started selling Superflex. Never used it before, but it does go on good. Acts just like Dicor. Still about the same price, it seems like. So, uh, time, time will tell. Kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. We're, of course, we're down here in uh, Disney's Fort Wilderness today. Beautiful 70 something degree day. And all in all, I think it turned out pretty good. See how, how these look now? Got the screw heads all covered up. So, hopefully, we'll prevent any leaks. Got that looking good. And of course, the worst one was this skylight here. It was in bad shape, a lot of bad cracking around the plastic and uh, got all the screws resealed all around the perimeter and uh, same way for all the air vents, cables up front. So I guess that'll conclude our little adventure today. Everything's all, all well and good. Okay, okay, well, I thought I was finished, but actually, look here. Can you see the little lizard? Hello, oh, lizard. Oh, another one. 
There's another one? Like, yeah, it's just right here. It's right right like sitting on air conditioners. Oh, yeah, yeah, nope. the other one. It's coming this way. You're running around. But anyways, oh, uh, there I thought I was finished, but I'm not. Look at this air conditioner. That thing is filthy. Look at there. Stopped up. This, golly, it's awful. So, um, this fifth wheel has three air units. So, um, while I'm up here, I'm going to get them all cleaned up for because they are a mess. All right. So, you just know, you start one job and it just keeps expanding. A little Wait, more info. Okay, I got the covers off all three now. Look how filthy this one is. Look at that. This must be the, you know, the main living room that's used all the time. Okay, and here's the, the second one. Also, the living room, it's still dirty, but not as bad. But then you go to the... Yeah, another littered. You go up here to the bedroom, and it really looks nice compared to the other ones. It's not, not very dirty at, at all compared to those back there. So but we'll get the hose and some cleaner and get them all sp spruced up. And one more thing. Be sure to check around your ladder where it mounts to the roof because it was in really bad shape cracked up real bad letting water in so put a good coat on it keep it sealed up and the, we did the screw heads across the the rear cap okay we got them shined up a little bit better now yeah shiny metal instead of all that dirt and, and crud oh something else while, I, while i'm up here let me show you this cool thing this little jet nozzle i got this on amazon i think i just did a search for brass jet nozzle but this little thing is incredible with the power it has do it here one-handed. Just look at what a jet that thing puts off. So if you're looking for an awesome, powerful jet nozzle, can't remember what it's called. That's what it looks like. It's got like these, well it's hard to tell, but it's got like a little rubber membrane in the middle of it. And these three stainless steel balls that pinch down and reduce the stream. Does a great job. But I think we got this project wrapped up finally. Starting the sun's about to go down anyways.